Hey guys and welcome back to this channel. In this video I'll be showing you guys how you can create this eye glow effect on a CapCut PC. I'm just going to start here where you can kind of see a little bit of his eyes. I'm just going to add it on top like that. Make sure you download this first though. It's just like a normal glow PNG. I'm just going to rotate it and I'm going to put it here and I'm going to put it till the end of the clip kind of and as you can see it moves so we're just going to okay don't know why it's doing that so here is where it actually shows up like in this keyframe so I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on the time like on the timeline and then I'm going to add a keyframe here and then in the beginning, I'm going to turn it down to zero. And hopefully there will be like a transition. And actually I might turn it down a little bit to dim it out first. And then later when he opens his eyes, I will actually move it up to 100%. Like that. Okay. And then when it starts moving, I'm just going to add a keyframe here. And then actually like when it moves, you are going to move the, the glow up to the center of like the person's eyes. Like it keeps an opening, so make sure you want to do that. See, like it keeps like moving. So just move the image up here. And again, it just keeps on moving, you know? So make sure you place it in the middle. Don't worry about the other eye, we're going to do that later. But I think that's where it stops. So here, I actually want to turn up the opacity to 100%. Okay, once you're done, you're just going to copy and paste the object and move it to the left, uh, sorry, the right eye. We'll start here. Okay, it's going to be a little bit difficult to move because we already added. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Right click on the clip and then create compound clip and then we can move it. Can we move it? Okay, then we'll move it to the right. So the keyframe doesn't move as well. So just make sure you place it correctly like that. Okay, it's somewhat not in the middle. Okay, there we go. This is what it should look like at the end. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section down below. And I will try my best to answer them all for you guys. And if you found this video helpful, please click the thanks button above the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!